Jeez, I wish I had time to shave. Um, anyway, today we're going to do another unboxing of Your Toy Box. Why is it called Your Toy Box? Not Your Toy Box, it's My Toy Box. Um, so for those of you who didn't see the first video, uh, Your Toy Box is a subscription service where they send you action figures and toys and trading cards and all kinds of cool stuff. And what's cool about this one is that you can customize what you get in the toy box. And you can pick like Marvel and DC, Star Wars, just there's a whole list of things on their site um, that you can pick from to customize your toy box. And you get a bunch of cool stuff in the mail. Um, the first one was all right. Um, I got at least uh, two or three really cool things in there, maybe four. Um, but uh, I decided to give it another chance. Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better. Uh, I might take off uh, Star Wars from my uh, from my list because honestly, I don't need any more Star Wars figures. <laughs> I uh, I have a near complete collection of the vintage figures, and I have lots and lots of other figures from various other um, sets. So I don't really need Star Wars. I have a feeling I'm going to get another Star Wars in here. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to get, although uh, when I first sat down here to film this, a noise came from inside this box, so something in here, something in here has some kind of uh, voice feature, so uh, we'll see. Uh, again, uh, I'm more than likely going to get a Star Wars thing in here, and like I said, I don't need Star Wars, I got lots of it, uh, unless, unless by some uh, ridiculous chance... I get one of the super rare vintage ones I, that that most likely, or not most likely, it's very unlikely. I'm trying to think of what the uh, the super rare ones are. It's been a while. Um, there's uh, Yak Face, which is yes, that is the name of a character. Um, the vintage Star Wars figures were named, I, I guess, after like production names for all the aliens and stuff. There's one guy called Yak Face. And he's this big dude with a big nose, and he was on screen for like two seconds in Return of the Jedi. Um, there's also the blue Snaggletooth, which Snaggletooth was this little red guy who was also on screen very briefly. Um, there were two different kinds. There was a red one, which was uh, part of the normal figure line. And then there was a blue one, which was a lot taller, which came with a playset, and they're very hard to come by. Uh, there's a lot of, like, the, uh, the Boba Fett that fires the rocket, um, there's the, uh, Luke Skywalker where the lightsaber extends further than it normally does, and then, uh, there's the plastic, ch uh, plastic cape Jawa, which is really rare, um, the, the cloth cape one, uh, everyone has, I, I have one of those, the plastic cape ones, I believe, were very limited, uh, limited produced and they can go for very a lot of money like I think a carded one is worth like ten thousand dollars which is insane um, but anyway uh, we're gonna take a look in here I'm gonna feel around first and uh, there's the bubble wrap let's see here uh, there's a figure there uh, ooh, there's something square in here I don't know what that is uh, I don't think we're gonna recreate Okay, uh, there's the thing that made the noise, so we'll find out what that is in a second. I doubt we're gonna we're gonna um, recreate how great it was receiving uh, <laughs> Cast Away <laughs> the DVD in here because you can pick DVDs and VHS tapes and video games too, which is really cool. I'm hoping to receive a video game actually. Um, <laughs> thank God I, I actually didn't have that movie, uh, but anyway. Let's uh, let's get started. Enough of me rambling. Let's pick up whatever this is first. And oh, this is big. What is this? Oh, it's oh cool. <laughs> it's a shredder. Nice. Uh, is this the new shredder? Is this the one that was making the noise? It looks like he has speakers. Yes, there's that. That's what was making the noise. <laughs> this. No, I will not. I'm doing a video. <laughs> See what else he can say. I think if you move his hand, or his leg, or he just he just does it whenever he feels like it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. This is from the uh, the new. 
This is from the new Ninja Turtles uh, <laughs> series. I, I call it new. It's not that new. It came out in like 2012. Um, I love the show. I'm a huge fan of the new Ninja Turtles. It's so good. And um, it has a pretty good figure too. Uh, I'm, I wish I knew how exactly his thing goes off. I thought maybe if you remove it. I think it's this arm. Is that it? Yep, there it is. We solved the mystery. No, no thank you. Alright, well th this is a pretty cool figure. I actually don't have... Um, I, I think I have a couple of figures from the new line, but I'm not, I'm not that interested in collecting from that. But I, I do like the figure. He's very big and bulky. He's got big legs, very... Uh, well, he's got that cool... <laughs> he got the cool uh, action feature. So, alright, so we're off to a pretty good start. Um, let's see what's next. Let's grab. They're not in. They're not in bags like they were. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Uh, oh, <laughs> I I felt this and I was like, oh god. Um, Scorpion from uh, Spider-Man, I think. 1997 Spider-Man uh, Toy Biz Marvel. I love I love the Toy Biz Marvel uh, figures. So yeah, I don't actually never seen this one before. Cause I know uh, Spider-Man actually had his own separate um, line of figures, but I didn't really have a lot of them. I had a lot of the uh, the generic Marvel ones from like the earlier uh, earlier releases, and I have a lot of the X-Men. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got a posable tail. Um, that's surprising amount of articulation on him too. He's got like uh, bendable shoulders, and yeah, not bad, not bad. I like him. All right, so that's two. So far, we got two villains. Let me, let me get the bubble wrap out of there. We got two villains. Let's see uh, what else we got in here. Let's grab this guy. What is this? It's Batman. It's uh oh oh. Is this from the Batman? Oh, interesting. And he and he actually has his accessory. Cool. Some sort of grappling hook. The bat hook. Whatever. I think this is from the Batman. Let me see if I can find a date on here. Uh, there's words here, but there's no date. Hmm. Um, the character, the, the face kind of looks like it's from The Batman. I'm not really entirely sure about that. Um, hmm. This might have been a Happy Meals toy, because I, I just noticed the, uh, the, the grappler does not come off. It's actually molded onto the, the hand there. Um, hmm. I don't know. Well, it's pretty cool. Looks good. All right, so we got uh, we got Batman fighting uh, Scorpion from Spider-Man and, and Shredder. We can we can maybe recreate a scene from the Batman Ninja Turtles uh, crossover comic that I've actually been meaning to read. So there there you go. We got Batman, Shredder, and Scorpion. Let's see what else. Let's grab let's grab the square thing. Uh, that. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I don't remember this character from the movie. Uh, what the hell is... Okay, well, I, on the back you got uh, Jack, Sally, and Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I don't know who that is, though. Is that supposed to be just Mickey Mouse? Just in, in like, uh, Halloween Town form or something? Uh, what is this? It's a light up keychain. Hmm. So it's a, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a light. Okay. All right, not bad. I actually have a light for my keychain, but, uh, I know a lot of people that, that love, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll use that as a gift. Uh, okay, next. What is this? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, we may have topped Castaway. <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, what is, uh, it's it's Dennis Hopper's character from Waterworld. <laughs> oh my god! I. Uh, I, this is something that I've actually forgotten about. I, I didn't. Uh, is that that is Dennis Hopper's character? I remember he had the eye patch. <laughs> uh, 
I wish I remembered enough about Waterworld to quote something, but, uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's the oddity of the box, I guess. <laughs> Either that or the Nightmare Before Christmas thing. All right, uh, let's see, here's something small. Um, oh, it's, it's Spike from, um, Mario. This is the guy that, like, pukes out the spike balls and he throws them. Oh, you know what? Since we have Dennis Hopper, <laughs> we can almost recreate the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> Where's Iggy? We need Iggy. Oh, boy. He's pretty good. He's got a little something... He's got a little, little paint scuffs on him, but uh, otherwise he looks good. He'll look good next to the Koopa Troopa. <laughs> By the way, the Mario Brothers movie also had action figures as well. I actually... Uh, I would actually like to get some of them. I should look up on eBay. They're probably practically giving them away at this point because you know nobody nobody liked that movie. Uh, let's see, what do we got left? We got two things left. It feels like let's pick the smaller one. Um, Star Wars figure. Who are you? Hmm. Says Star Wars figure. Not entirely sure who that is. Um, what's what year are you from? Hmm. Definitely not from the nineties. This is probably from. Is this maybe one of like the younglings from? From uh, from Phantom Menace. No, not Phantom Menace. Uh, Re Revenge of the Jet. Revenge of the Jet. Revenge of the Sith, episode three. She's kind of she's kind of small. I assume this is a girl. It's very poseable. You got ball jointed head. Got a lot of joints. Hmm. Oh, uh, I need a date. I need a date. Um. It looks like there's writings on her feet, but I can't read them. Um, if I find out what this is, I'll just po put a thing on the, uh, I'll just put it in the video. Alright, so we got a mystery Star Wars figure. And the final thing in the box is, <laughs> oh boy, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, oh god, his, his proportions are awful. Look at I know, it's... God, his legs are tiny! Look how long his arms are compared to his legs! And he's got, like, problems with his neck, and... Oh, my God. Um... Oh, and his knees go the wrong way, too! No! Oh, boy. What year is this from? 2001... Hanna-Barbera. I seem to recall, uh... I seem to recall Scooby-Doo action figures. In fact, I, I saw some recently, like, new ones... Um, so this is apparently, <laughs> okay, <laughs> look at, he's cross-eyed, I just noticed that, let's see if we can get a good look at that, <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's not bad, he's a good figure, let's see, uh, hopefully he stands up, because he's kind of, he, he's got like weird weight distribution, let's see if we can, uh, alright, so he does, he does stand up, um, alright, <laughs> Okay, I'm a big fan of Scooby-Doo. So, uh, is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Alright, uh, so, um, I think the best, the best thing out of this, I think, is the Shredder. Uh, it's really cool. No, I'm doing a video. Um, we got, um, Scorpion from Spider-Man. Nice. I like him a lot. And we got another miscellaneous Batman. I actually don't think this is a this this is clearly not a not a Happy Meal toy because he's he's way he's way too uh, well articulated for that. So I don't I don't know if I could figure this one out. I'll probably also put a thing up on there. He's got like hair all over his cape. He probably came from a house with a dog. Anyway, um, we got a weird ass uh, Nightmare Before Christmas creepy smiling Mickey Mouse uh, light. 
At least I think that's Mickey Mouse. None of the other characters have uh, the ears. I don't know. Uh, it's weird. We got Spike from uh, from Super Mario Brothers. We got uh, Dennis Hopper, uh, his his uncle, <laughs> uh, King Koopa from Waterworld. I, I'm getting my Dennis Hoppers crossed. We got a mysterious Star Wars figure, which I'll have to look up. And we got Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, which is not a bad figure. He's his, Again, his proportions are very strange. <laughs> and I know it's... Um, I don't recall them being this weird in the show. I mean, I know he's a cartoon character. His cartoon characters have, uh, you know, weird proportions. But my god, his torso is longer than his legs. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, definitely the, the, the winner of this box is Shredder. Um, this was a much better crate, uh, toy box, rather, than last time. So... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue. I'm going to see if I can get Star Wars taking off, taking off my preferences. Um, the one thing that sucks about the, uh, the toy box is, uh, if you want something taken off your, uh, your preferences, you have to, like, email them and tell them about it, which kind of sucks. Isn't that right, Shredder? I know, right? I got too much Star Wars. Uh, yes. Anyway, uh... <laughs> so, uh, that was my toy box. I liked it a lot. So, um, let me know what you think, and, uh, you got anything left to say, Shredder? I agree. <laughs>